Hello guys, this is Rez. Today we're going to talk about an amazing thing we all are used to, and that's the console window. I'm pretty sure all of you guys use some sort of first language like Java, C Sharp, C++, C, or whatever else, and they all required you to output to the console. Now, the greatest thing about this is Android also has this console. But in this case, it's a logcat where you could put anything from information for yourself or errors or just notice how the system's going on and if you notice this is my current system and you see all the information from randomness to everything else okay so one thing we we need to do first is to make sure that this filters it out to only our app so if you go on the top right rather than setting it to no filters where it shows everything that's running on your device we're gonna just select show only selected application so this will be just my application and currently my application is not running so you're not gonna see much we're gonna press the play button and just see what's going on so going on my Google Pixel again da, da, da. we'll see a couple lines more happening now you're gonna notice these three main lines these are the three main lines I actually wrote for my application the other stuff are specific stuff happening to my application, but it's not really made by me, but it's made by other stuff like this, which is telling me the build is going, the etc., what's going on, so forth, so on. Okay? Or the OpenGL, which is my graphics. Anyway, there's other things that's going to happen here. But this is specific to my application, which is great. Now, these three things I posted here, they're critical for this moment on and eventually we'll do a specific logging tutorial but for now this is great now we have three I posted here one is the critical error this is great because it'll post it inside the red inside your log cat so obviously use this for critical errors or you could also use it just to see where it is inside the log cat if it's still if it gets ever messy Obviously, there's always the search, so you don't really need to do that. So keep it to critical errors, but it's up to you guys. You guys are new. You're learning stuff. This doesn't really matter that much. The second one is information. This is where you want to just say, hey, where am I at? Sometimes you get lost. Sometimes you're not sure if your activity even runs. Did this function run? This this constructor run? Rather than putting debug points or not knowing which came first, this is a great point to put in. So you put in log.i for information and you just say what that information is. Okay, and the last one is debug. Now the debug is great because whatever you show in your logcat just stays when you're in debug mode. Whenever you release it to your users, they will never see it, which is great. So you could keep some stuff there in code, which logs to your debug, but when you release it, it's not going to affect the user in any way that you would need to clean up afterwards, right? Obviously, there's a few other ones, but for now, this is great enough for you guys to know. So, let's move on to the next part. So, these are functions, and they take two parameters. One is the tag you want to set to it. Here, I said error. This is the tag you'll see. E for being the error. And error is my own little tag of type error. So, this could have been some sort of level let's say critical run it again just to show it to you guys it's gonna get replaced or anything that's meaningful for you right eventually you want to have a standard in your company or in your app with all your friends so you kind of figure out what's going on so you see here it still says the E for the error log but it says the tag is critical and the little information about it which is critical failure blah 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 so if you notice by now every time the first parameter is going to be a some sort of tag and the second one is going to be some information that you want to output or you want to make sure everyone sees now let's talk about this and how can we make it cleaner if you want to make it clean the first part is the date and time of that error happening sometimes for you guys it doesn't matter so we could just go and click this little configuration button and tick off the show date and time. Now look what happens. This whole part is just going to disappear. Right? 
Now it comes to the next part, the 123-456 that you see here. This is the process and thread ID that's running on. If ever the process ID and the thread ID are the same, it means it's running on the main thread, right? The main thread is the main application, everything runs, so for so on, if it crashes, nothing else works, all the other threads are meaningless. This is good to know. So just remember if this, the process ID and the thread ID is the same, this is the main thread running right now. So we could take that off too if you guys don't have any main threads or process ID, it's meaningless. Now the second part is saying, hey, where is that package included of? Currently it just says question marks. If we take that off, you get nothing else, right? Look here, it says com Android sample. In this case, it says question mark, it's fine. Just a little bugginess here. And the last part is the tag. So what kind of error is it? Like the tag that you put it. So you still see if it's an information, an error, or a debug but you don't know the tag going with it right and the rest is just the message so you want to always keep the tag because it's meaningful sometimes these messages are so mundane and useless there's no point so let's just keep it um like that i would i would really to tell the truth i would probably you know what keep the package name it's going to help you out later on so now the errors become a bit cleaner and all i gotta check is for this critical and then form and debug and the package would say where it is located at so for so all right guys this is the beginning so i would really suggest you guys kind of learn how to use this because they're not debug yet but it's an easy way to figure out where it is right this is an old technique before debugs ever came out it was called the tracing so you would just like kind of put an output here 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 until you figured out where the issues running and so forth so on right and this stayed and it became logs and it became other stuff so this is a really powerful tool you guys should get used to because sometimes the application gets so big that you don't have time to debug or you don't know where the exact area is and debugging is not always going to be there for you or always going to be that simple for you all right so thanks guys please register for my channel and all the other shenanigans people do this is rez and i'll see you guys next time